With this huge cold snap running through the US right now, I've seen several videos on this emergency heater and I wanted to put it to the test and see if this is legit or if you're just wasting your time and energy with the Crisco 72 hour candle. This video is brought to you by Mr. Cool, America's number one choice for quality, affordable DIY HVAC equipment. All right, so we have two brand new Crisco containers here. Um, this one, we actually did a little test. So I wanted to get a wick that was for a lamp and apparently these will not work. We tried this, we were able to successfully put this in very easily, but as you can see here, these wicks, no matter what length they were, continued to put out soot, meaning that they were not producing a clean burn. So that's why this one looks a little bit differently, but basically they're brand new and we're gonna do two separate tests here. So we're gonna do a test with these candles. This is what you'll see if you go on YouTube and you look up the 72 hour heat. Basically all it is is we're gonna stick this into here or some people say you can put it in a glass mason jar. Um, basically you just cut this to length, shove it down in there and light it and that's it. So we're gonna do one with three of these cut to length. So we'll show you how to do that. And then we're gonna show you with these actual wicks. Now these are much bigger diameter wicks than these ones in these little candles. And I think that's going to produce a significantly hotter flame. Okay, so to start with, we're going to take one of these candles. Um, you can get these on Amazon. I'll leave a link if you'd like a link to these, but I really think that these wicks are going to be better. So we're gonna hold it upside down and we're gonna mark it about where it needs to be. And that's where we're gonna cut this candle. So we just snap that with our hand and then you can just take some scissors and cut the wick, and there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three of these. So we're just gonna shove this straight in, just like that. Now we can push this around, and that will just kind of melt in with it. So we'll repeat that process three times here, and that'll give us three flames. Okay, so we might have to shave some of this Crisco off and take it out. All right, so candle number one is complete. Let's go ahead and light this guy. See how easy those lit up. And just for reference, we can see the size of these flames. They're not that big. And hopefully what comes out of these other wicks will be much larger. So while that's burning, let's hop over to our other one and show you how to place these wicks. Okay, so since these wicks have this little thing, they're designed to be placed into liquid wax, but we're just gonna do this without having to melt it since we're just using our Crisco container. So what we're gonna do is from the bottom, we have a good solid one inch extra. If we place this all the way to the ground, uh, the floor there. We have extra room, so we're gonna bend it like so, and we're actually just gonna clip this uh, metal tab off so that we just have a ring and we don't have any resistance. Next, we're gonna take a screwdriver, so where we wanna place it is about right here. Hold it straight up, and we're gonna go straight down with it. So there we hit the bottom. So this candle will go all the way to the bottom there and just slide our screwdriver out and then push this back in and that's it. Easy as that. So we're gonna repeat this three times. So we'll cut this next one off. Just fold it about that much over there. We'll place this one right here and we'll go straight down. So we hit the bottom, boom. That's it. That's number two. Just like that. All right, so all three wicks are placed. Press this wax around here and that's it. Let's go ahead and light these guys. So this is actually pretty impressive right here. So you can see the puddles are larger on this candle with the larger wicks. 
And even though the flame size is not much different or our thermal imaging is not that much different, notice this right here. We're holding this about four inches above. We're getting 86 degrees, 85 degrees. We've been right here for several, um, probably about a minute now, but notice same height. We're gonna hold it over this guy right here and instantly we can see this temperature rising. I had it on here a second ago and we were at about 110 degrees. 118, 133 degrees. Wow. Now just doing a standing test here, this is pretty stinking hot. It's putting off a lot of heat. Noticeably different right here than over here. Like I can't hold my hand right here for a very long period of time. So if we move this up, this is putting out a lot of heat. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to put these both in a controlled environment in a room in our house, and we're gonna see what temperature this will raise this up to in a one hour time slot with no other heat going into that room. Now this kind of speaks for itself that it's got this larger puddle versus this one. It's burning part of the candle and not so much the actual um, material here. Now again, this might not last quite as much as long as this one will, um, but they say these will last for like 72 days with a single flame. So if we divide that number by three, we get 24 hours of straight burn time with one of these that's putting out a lot more, um, a lot more heat. So these are about $12 for a thing of Crisco. If you get the off-brand, it's even cheaper. And I'll make sure and leave links for these particular wicks in the video description. Now I did some testing with the terracotta and I don't think this is a great solution. Um, this metal, however, this is a six inch um, collar that I got from Home Depot. It fits right into this very snugly. So it's a nice fit and already this thing is toasty. And in addition to that, we can actually prop this up and we can totally heat something up with this heat that we're, um, we're generating right here. All right, so we've had this set up on here for a while now, and it just doesn't have the heat to spin this thermal induction heater. So that's not a great sign. All right, so we have this Crisco heater um, set up here, and we have our thermometer. As you can see, it is 65 and a half degrees in this space. We've intentionally cooled it off a little bit in here. This is completely closed off, so no heat or anything is coming out of there. We're actually gonna turn off the thermostat altogether to make sure that this is not falsified in any way. We'll go ahead and bump this to the off position to make sure that nothing turns on. Okay, so that's set up. We're gonna go ahead and close this door. Right now it is 441, so we'll come back in about an hour at 545 and see what the temperature is on our thermometer there. Okay, so we found some bolts uh, in the garage and we fashioned this terracotta plant and we drilled a few holes in it and it's actually spinning this fan. So this thing is heating up really well. Let's grab the thermal imaging camera and see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see in our thermal imaging right here, this is putting out some heat. It is obviously putting out enough to spin the fan and that terracotta potter is actually getting heated up, which is a good sign. But overall, just viewing the temperatures and compared to say the Vesta heater that we'll show you in the next video, this one kind of pales in comparison to that one. Not to mention the fact that you can actually cook with the Vesta emergency heater, which I really love. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 545. Got a nice little pool of uh, wax there that's melted. I'm just gonna turn this back on and see what temperature we've got here. 66 degrees. <laughs> so this didn't hardly do anything. Well guys, I really wish this would have been more successful of a test for the Crisco 72 hour candle. Um, I don't think this is gonna do much in an emergency situation. It would have to be a tiny room for this to actually do anything. If you haven't heard about the Vesta heater, please check out this video. It is a true game changer for 130 bucks on Amazon. 
it way outperforms these and you don't have to do anything. You literally get it in the mail, light it, you can purchase separate canned heat and you can run that for as long as you have canned heat. You can cook on it. It is amazing. So check it out. And until next time, you guys be safe. Later.